Day two of the Australian PGA Championship produced some outstanding highlights. Oh. Our international stars seem to really struggle with uh, the difficulty of the course and the weather today. Brant Snedeker being one of those, but it was David Lingmurth who came to the top of the leaderboard with an outstanding round to go to three under par for the championship. It feels kind of crazy in a way with how, how it all started yesterday. I mean, I three-putted the first uh, two holes and I was three over par and uh, uh, found myself at four over after like four or six holes or whatever. And uh, here we are after two rounds and uh, not only do I have a chance, I guess I'm right at the top there. So, uh, yeah, I'm feel feeling like I'm playing very solid. Matt Miller, who's been consistency personified this year, had another excellent round today put him tied for second on two under par and he's a player that knows that experience will really count going into the weekend. Yeah I think it's a dangerous place to get into thinking about scores and what what will win and what won't. I think you've got to play it as conditions are on the day. Uh, as we've seen you know the uh, conditions have you know they've come and gone. Uh, forecasts not quite accurate <laughs> but uh, you know my mindset will just be to go out and do what I do. You know get out just go out there play every one at a time try and hit as many fairways hit it on the greens, try and be patient and you kick yourself when you when you know there's flags that you can't go at, you know, um, you're better off just hitting it to the middle of the green, walking away with par, not, not dropping a shot. Rain Gibson got off to a poor start today, but came back with an incredible score of eight under par, which included two eagles on the par fives, the ninth hole and the twelfth hole. He's certainly going to be in contention this weekend. Yeah, I started bogey bogey to go to nine over for the tournament and uh, yeah, I really didn't want to be here. And then chipped in for eagle on nine, which was the turning point. Kind of kind of gave me a sniff of making the cut because that was really my main goal today after playing so poorly yesterday. And yeah, kind of caught fire there the last, you know, six, seven holes. The toughness of this Graham Marsh design here at Royal Pines continues to be a talking point with even AFL legends chipping in about its difficulty. I just got told about the scores yesterday and it sounds like uh, the conditions weren't too great. and. Um, yeah, as I said, it, it sounds like it's a, a tough course, so uh, looking forward to sitting back in the next couple of hours and watching a bit of golf. Tomorrow is round three and moving day at the Australian PGA Championship. We've got David Lingmurth at three under, Mark Foster at two, and Mark Miller, the local hope, at two under par. Twelve players under par, it's going to be a close one. Conditions are favourable, so let's look for some great scoring.